Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a really nice Thanksgiving. Today's video is going to be about the my top favorite watercolors from 2021, so this year. And the last video was just about my top five and a couple of extra mixes. Uh, but today I thought we'd go through the color spectrum and um, sort of choose some of my standout colors from every color group. So to begin, I am creating an emblem on the um, top sort of a, to title the page and I did just do a, a couple of videos about these so you can check that out oh also my shop is on a Black Friday sale till Monday um, yeah so uh, I am using the gold Windsor and Newton ink and a dip pen and I think um, all the supplies and everything will be linked in those other videos um, I'll try and remember to link those below as well but they're just pretty recent so you should be able to find them there on the channel okay so yeah we're gonna start with the um, I, lo I love um, just getting that first um, part of the page done I really like it so what I've done here is um, put the colors in this little Blackwing pencil box. So I just took them out of my other palettes and just put them all together so that we had kind of a Condensed palette rather than me, you know pulling out like all these different palettes. You can kind of see the colors next to each other um, And yeah, so we uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you here quickly. I did go through this a little bit more in depth in the last video about um, my top five favorites but I'm just going to show you, what am I showing you here? Just how I, so we'll kind of get to the page. So this was kind of my colors from last year. And then I do the color wheels from this year. So you can see kind of how, um, how it changes from year to year. I think it's a really nice uh, thing to put, to kind of put down in your sketchbooks and kind of remember which color palettes you were drawn to each year. Um, so you can see kind of the difference there, the sort of lavender, smoky lavenders this year and sort of the brighter and softer pinks last year. Um, but so this is what I wanted to kind of show you. I've changed things around a little bit, I think, or added some things and um, from uh, that from here. So like I show you that this, those pages in more in depth in the last video, but I think there's a few extras and a few different things uh, in this video. And I also really love this. So these were just colors left on my palette and I, I just wanted to record them. So I put those in a sketchbook as well. So that's a really, that's another really nice idea to kind of keep mixes that you've been really enjoying as well. And then I'm still working on trying to figure out camera angles and things um, so we're going to get started with some of my favorite neutrals and yeah so here I, I do show you the so I keep thinking we're getting started but yeah you can see there they're my top five favorites in the other video that's everything we swatched um, and but today we're going to get started with all these yummy colors here so um, I think a lot of these are like handmade uh, colors anyway we'll go through them so the first color that we're going to swatch here is the hematite violet and this is from earth mineral arts I also really love the Daniel Smith one as well um, so yeah her shops on Etsy and what I'm gonna do is just put the shop and the link below and then the colors that I have there from that shop this one's also from her shop this is shell harp light and this one's a little bit of a creamier version of the daniel smith french ochre uh, this one is from nibs pens and ink and this is katia so this is one of my all-time favorites this was in my top five or both of these or all three of these were actually and yeah but i really really love this one it's like an oyster colored holographic shimmer it's really pretty So this adorable little quarter pan is from uh, Little, River, Little, Little Reverie on Etsy and it's a holographic one and you can see here that it's just a sprinkling of holographic so you can mix this with other colors 
um, but it's just such a beautiful little half pan and I think um, last time I checked they were on sale for two dollars in her shop as well so it's good um, shipping in the US if, if you're local there and then I'm just also showing you here that this is the Nibs Pens and Inks Sylvia so it's a little bit um, more strength and yeah but it's a very similar sort of a thing and so I, I love them both I love having that little half little quarter pan in there but I really love the nibs one as well so this one is Wallace and Seymour this is Citadella Grey Schist and I get these from Select Fine Art so they're a kind of a bespoke maker in the UK and I, I have been really really loving this one lately so um, it's kind of the counterpart to the holographic ones um, this just has the granules in there, but it's just a very soft um, color and I, I really love it. So this one here is the Royal Talons Gouache and this is the light gold. Okay, so the last three we have done were the Nibs, Pens and Inks Chantel, the holographic gold there. It's really beautiful. The middle one there is the Sandy Beach by uh, TCW Paints on Etsy. And this one is the Daniel Smith Interference Copper. So I really love this one as well. And I think I've nearly gone through a whole tube now. And I also, so I really like the more sparkly version from Rivervale Watercolors, which is the Phantom phantom fire as well so now we're swatching a neon yellow which i've been really loving this year as well this is from um nibs pens and ink as well so as you can see here that like i have the lemon yellow watercolor and then the neon yellow and then i have the lemon yellow uh, luminance pencil and then the neon yellow highlighter pencil as well so you can see like the lemon yellow is already bright but this is just super bright um okay we you can see here the um wallace and seymour paints and the chinabresa tube is empty there so i do need a new tube of this but i really love this one it's um it's just this very very beautiful mix so i think this is three colors that they have mixed here and I just haven't found anything quite like it yet. It's kind of delicate and porcelain-like. It is just a really beautiful, beautiful color. So this one here is Hollyhock. This is also from Nibs Pens and Inks, and I have a video about these. So I designed three colors for her, the Shabby Florals palette. And this is kind of this antique rose with a little bit of understated sparkle in it so it's really beautiful color and I've been really enjoying this one it is slightly different to the shell pink so I am going to do a video soon that kind of compares a lot of these different colors for you as well Okay, so we just swatched, swatched Azalea from Nibs Pens and Inks. It's the neon pink there, and I love that one. And then this one here is the Peach Pop from Little Reverie Studios, and this is also such a gorgeous color. And I think since I showed this, she has sold out maybe over six times. So yeah, it's a really lovely one, and I think you guys really like it as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our warm colors and neutrals and then we're going to do some cool colors and cool neutrals as well so this first one here is lavender and this is from beam paints and you can see how beautifully the beam paints ones come wrapped and so it's 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 its own special 
watercolor and you know I'm, I'm really happy to have some palettes now that they fit into and I have actually found that you can sort of squeeze them into um, different areas and I've ha have had to just um, cut a little tiny little bit off the bottom to make them fit into some palettes but yeah really really love their paints and then this one here is the pale wisteria by Turner artist watercolor so I have used a whole tube of that this year as well I really really love this one um, yeah so you can get something like this from mixing like an ultramarine or just a violet some sort of purple with white and then you can get that like really creamy really soft color uh, this one here is the Copenhagen by Nibs Watercolors as well this is a holographic one and again it's just really beautiful it's kind of like um, you know a cobalt violet but with holographic so yeah I really love this one um, and I probably should say as well so I have talked about this in other videos but I, I generally like 20 to 30 dollars plus shipping is kind of my watercolor allowance or art allowance per week or per fortnight so every two weeks or every month you know depending on finances at the time so um, yeah these have been collected over a long period um, they you know so yeah there's, there's definitely ways to increase your collection but go slowly and um, just as you're able and you'll find that it will you know it will start to grow as well so this one here is the White Nights Mocha and this is a recent purchase but this one I just really love this so this is like a sort of creamy version of Sedona it's really beautiful um, and also affordable as well so I yeah I really love it this one here is actually my favorite current like new mix so I, I actually did mix some in a half pan so I have enjoyed this mix for a while but I just um I think it's in one of my old favorite mixes videos but I just I've recently I've been loving it so it's the Daniel Smith Sedona just a little bit of it with the Grumbacher titanium white um yeah which I think you guys have been really loving that white as well so um this one here is bezel so this is also this was from my last haul and this one is from um, KJ Designs by Karen. You can see here it's like the Sennelier Silver uh, Ink, but it's in a watercolor. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, and I think you guys have been really loving that one as well. So, uh, the yeah, I love that that Sennelier Silver Ink. So, this one here is another one of the ones I designed for Nibs, and this is called Meadow. So, it's just this gorgeous mint green it's like the perfect mint and then it's got a mint shimmer in it as well so based off kind of one of my favorite mixes um and yeah really love it so this one here is the daniel smith duo chrome lapis sunlight that was my kind of extra one in my top fives really love it and this is the more beautiful version of it this is the paint and paper studio magic green so you can see there how sparkly and beautiful it is This one here is another one of the three that I designed for Nibs. This is Love in a Mist. So it's the perfect kind of powdery blue with a sparkle and it's just really, really beautiful. So this, th these are kind of my types of blues. I really either like kind of powder blues. Um, this one here is the Schmincke Limited Edition Ice, Ice Blue, I think. Um, it's just a really beautiful creamy schmincke paints are always beautiful and uh, yeah really creamy really easy to re-wet and this one here is another favorite from earth mineral arts this is the lichen and sage so it's a very um, as it, the name suggests just a really sage color but really um, like green gray 
which I really love and then this one here is smolt so this is my favorite version of like an ultramarine it's a purple leaning blue so it's not as kind of bright and primary color as the ultramarine um, but yeah I really love the smolt uh, that's by Winsor & Newton and then this one here is the lunar violet so this one is by um, Daniel Smith and yeah just I just love it um, yeah it's it's nice to have colors that have a little bit of something so if you have like a lamp black and you mix a little bit of a purple in with it as well something like that um, then this one here is what was that Pacific Lagoon so this is one of my other favorites from paint and paper studio I really love it um, yeah Pacific Lagoon and um, this one here is the Ulta, Ulta Ego 2.0 so this is by TCW Paints I really love this it's a black holographic sparkle um, and then this is the natural version of that so this one is the Shimmer Iron Glimmer by Wallace and Seymour and so I have had this one for at least a year and I, I really really love this I love that it's natural and that it has shimmer in it so yeah super beautiful and I also just showed you in my last haul and I will kind of show you at the end of the video here as well that I that KW Arts on Etsy she sells it in half pans so um, yeah it could either be more readily available or um, you know because sometimes the Wallace and Seymour ones are sold out and also yeah if you can't get it out of the it's hard to get out of the actual tube so the half pan is already available but you do get more in the tube so yeah it's they both have kind of their pros and cons and but yeah absolutely beautiful paints from either shop and so that is kind of my favorites I think I just put the sun gold in there as well you can see I forgot to um, swatch that I think so that is from um, Paint and Paper Studio as well. Their sun gold is really beautiful. Okay, so I kind of divided them up so you can see them. We've got TCW Paints, Earth Mineral Arts, uh, Wallace and Seymour, Paint and Paper Studio, Little Reverie, and then the Nibs ones at the top. And then these ones are kind of a hodgepodge of different um, things, but I'm just going to show you, I've kind of, I kind of made a page there so you can see the ones from each shop um, all together. So you can see there the Wallace and Seymour at the top, the Cliffs of Watertown, TCW, and then um, Earth Mineral Arts is over there. But I, and I also wanted to show you, these are the like Shimmer Iron Glimmer from Wallace and Seymour and the Quartz, it's the same thing, the Spanish um, Glimmer. And then we have the Phantom Fire and the Interference Copper. So you can see like the Phantom Fire, it just has more mica in it, it's, it's um, a more brilliant version, like a little bit more apricot. Um, I really also, I really really love, I also really love the Thulite, so you can see there that is from Colors of the Iron Range. I'm not sure if she has it in stock at the minute, but definitely message her if you're interested in that. And then I know she did restock it for some of you as well. And then the um, Cote d'Azur, so and the Porphyry Violet, that's also from Earth, um, from Cals of the Iron Range. Yeah, so she is one of my favourite shops, um, and I didn't, um, 
I realized that I didn't actually uh, swatch the ones from her but I'm not sure if they're in stock at the minute but this one is the um, buff titanium and then that is what the Thulite looks in the pan and that is the kind of really pretty pink and then this one is it's like a it's like a natural shimmer it's a natural pink with a shimmer in it I'm not sure if I can and then um, the Porphyry Violet Ochre and the Coat d'Azur Violet are here as well. So really love all so of those. You see, because they're... Okay, well, I think that's it for this video. I will go and finish getting it uploaded and out to you guys. I hope you have a really lovely day and I will see you uh, soon. Bye.